We pulled it off, I'm so excited. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. All right, guys, time to do some upgrades on Scrappy. It's never quite finished until we start the next build, which is very soon. But let me tell you what I'm doing with Scrappy. Scrappy was set up to have nitrous, 50 horse, 100 horse, 100 horse. You could switch any of the above. And then it had to have some special stuff done because timing needs to change relative to your elevation and how much horsepower you add to it. And so I even made a little box that wired in that would automatically regulate that. It was really cool, really trick. And then we lost it in the shop. And I don't know how long me and my son Dylan and Ron searched for it, hours, and I think it ended up in some box and into the trash somehow. So I think that was serendipitous. Maybe we shouldn't do nitrous because I kind of was planning on 50, maybe 100 horse but I'd probably want to try them all because I know me and I'd probably have a chance to hurt the motor. So we decided to switch. Twin turbos. Twin turbos. I got a couple of turbos um, and held them up to check the sizing and they just won't fit. It's too tight. There's just no way to do it. I'm going to melt things. And quite frankly, I'd have big funny bulges on the side if I even tried. It's going to be a lot bigger project. I've got to shift the motor forward. That changes the CG. So I got to shift other things back. So there's a lot going on to get the turbos on, but ultimately I'm going to be a lot safer. And I'm going to now redo the top end of Scrappy and pull the compression down. Um, it's got high compression now. I've got to lower the compression, move the engine, rearrange the CG. And I'm actually going to move the engine a bit to make sure I got room for twin turbos and twin intercoolers. Scrappy's got a big engine. And fortunately, when I was playing with the numbers, Scrappy was actually a little bit aft CG. In all the design and all the work, you do the best you can. Scrappy was great. You could fly it. It flew right in CG limits all the time, every flight I went on. But it didn't quite have the baggage capacity that Scrappy's payload is capable of. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit while I move the engine forward, I'm going to make sure I get it enough to get room for the turbos. And instead of taking CG and having it being more neutral, I'm gonna put it so if there's just one person flying in the front seat, I'm right at the forward limit. That way when I add a big heavy person in the back. Are you calling me fat? Lots of luggage in the back bay and the belly bay and tanker the 100 gallons plus of fuel this thing has. I still have a lots of leftover room and I'm not on the aft side. So we're going to push the plane from mid-range CG right to the forward limit. Oh my gosh. Okay, the cowling is going to be very difficult. I love doing cowlings. I love one off. I feel like it's more of an artwork shaping it. This is going to be a challenge because I've got these lines that are all moving. Curves, everything's going concave, convex. And if I just split the cowling and move it, the two don't pair. You can't just make a straight line. So I'm going to have to get really creative. And if I can do my job right, I'm going to blend the front half, back half, and the little bit I move open to fit this engine, these turbos in there. And I got to get it to blend. And if I do it right, you won't even see that I did it. Also, I'm going to go ahead and move my intake scoops forward a little bit and my exit scoops, cooling scoops forward a little bit and make a little door on both sides of this cowling. I want to have doors so that I can get into the turbos, make adjustments to wastegates without decaling the aircraft. Also, right now, Scrappy's already capable of doing oil changes because I can get in the bottom, the sides up front. But now I want to make two more doors to get in the sides in the back. There's a couple of gosh, I actually pulled Scrappy apart a while ago and then it just sat. Ugh. Don't ever do that again. Now it's time to kick it in gear because Garmin wants to have Scrappy back at Oshkosh this year with motorcycles hanging on it because last year I didn't have motorcycle attachments for the solar powered motorcycles. I need to get this done for Oshkosh. I want to be done a month early if possible which means I'm going to two-stage this process. I'm going to make a new motor mount, make new cowlings, make an intake scoop for the intercoolers, make two new side entry doors, 
rearrange things to get the CG exactly the way I want it, four turbochargers, but I'm not going to put the turbos on. I just want to get it room for the turbos, room for the intercooler, scoops and intakes and outlets all done, get the cowling on, get it painted, get the CG moved, rebalance, double check it, fly it, go through the test flight period for some changes like that, get that out of the way and be done with at least a month left over for Oshkosh. So that's the plan because I want to take it to Oshkosh early. My wife has a request from me. I've abandoned her <laughs> for a lot of years where I fly to Oshkosh having fun and then she drives a motorhome all the way without me. So I want to be done with enough time to fly really early to Oshkosh, drop off the plane, fly home, get in the bus with my wife and kids, do a mini vacation tour to Oshkosh in the bus with my kids, which I haven't done for a long time. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm going to push really hard to have Scrappy done, test flown, painted, recaled up, and ready to go to Oshkosh with everything but turbos with a month, month to spare. So that's the drill. Let's get after it. Back to work. I also am going to add these intercoolers. That's going to mean I need another intake source. So I'm going to have to make a really cool custom hood scoop. I'll probably take a little bit of an old scoop, split it, reshape it, make a brand new mold off it, vacuum bag a part off of it, make a new hood scoop. That is going to be another inlet air source. So I'll eventually have to duct that in on the inside of Scrappy, put it to the intercoolers. But I think it's gonna look really cool to add an intake scoop on the top of Scrappy for the intercoolers. I'm also gonna add another camera right now, set up with one camera out the front. I'm gonna set it up with two. One's gonna be a long range camera. The other one's gonna be a short wide angle lens camera, more like a backup camera that shoots really wide and low to see better around the rocks for the prop clearance anytime I want to lower the aircraft. So we're going to add more cameras to Scrappy. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope it turns out good and looks good. All right, guys, so this is a little bit different. This is a mold we made a while ago for Scrappy's exit air. So I had a steeper ramp to create suction. The air was flowing this direction and drawing air out of Scrappy's lower cowling. Now I'm making the intercooler scoop, which the air will be flowing the other direction. So I don't want it as high up into the wind because the air is scooping into it this direction. And I want the air to try and stay as attached as possible on the backside. So I've flattened it out, but I still needed more volume. So now I've widened it five inches. So it's easier to just start with something I've often gone to a bed bath and beyond and found some plastic part to start a mold for something completely different. This time I was able to pull this. <clears throat> I made a part off of this, split it in half, widened it five inches, then cut the bottom out of it, dropped it down to get the angle I wanted and the smaller inlet, wider inlet for the scoop. So this has now become the start of my new mold for Scrappy's intercooler. Getting close, got a lot more sanding to do, a little more fill in here, a little shape on the front. So you guys know the drill. 
let's get back to work. So I got, now have my hood scoop finished for Scrappy's intercooler. It's got the art to it of the top of the cowling. And then I vacuum bagged a four layer piece of carbon fiber to make this part on the new mold we made. And then I attached it to the original top of the cowling so I could get that curve I wanted. Then I laid up another layer on top and a layer on the bottom so that there's a layer going across where the seam was from this part to the original cowling. What's really amazing, I did one other thing Right inside here, normally if you just uh, use right off of the mold, you won't have a full return. And what I did is I took a little bit of micro filler, it's really lightweight, and I filled the gap so that you don't feel an air trip on the underside where the part we molded couldn't come back and touch on itself. It only went three quarters of the way around. It went like that and I curled it under and made a little airfoil carrying back to the underside. So if you were to look through here, you don't see a lip, you see a little airfoil. But what it did is it made this front really strong. But even though it's a carbon fiber part and a few layers, it's kind of scary. <laughs> there you go. Two feet. Doesn't even flex the curve here at the top of the cowling, but uh, enough talking. <laughs> Let's get back to work. Alright guys, we pulled it off. I am so excited. I'm going to Oshkosh with tons of time to spare. I can't believe it. The opposite of last year's rush and race to Oshkosh even showing up a couple days late because I had to fly off a few more hours. This year I'm done with weeks to spare flying to Oshkosh way ahead of schedule, flying home then taking some time at home with my family and then driving to Oshkosh with all kinds of leftover time. So Scrappy is done. Test flying is done. I could not be happier. I got this moved forward. I got my new inspection door to get into the turbos here. I love the way the cowling blended together. Um, you can't tell where I seamed it, how I reshaped it. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. I actually like the new look. I thought it was a little bit squatty on the front, so that little extra length I added to fit the turbos is just awesome. So also the CG, it's great. Before, it's a little bit aft if I were to really load it heavy in the back. Um, everything on a Cub is aft CG. The pilot's aft CG. The back seat's aft, the luggage is aft, everything in the belly's aft, and even the fuel on Scrappy's extra large tanks are a little wider, so they actually are aft. So um, Scrappy is now set up a more forward, gave me room for the turbos. I still have a weight left over to add the turbos and hit me right on my mark, so I'm really excited about that. Now I'm at the point where 
with me in it, it's right at the forward limits. As soon as I add anyone else to it, it comes in line. Any luggage, anything I put in the plane moves me back. I couldn't be happier with how everything went, so I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna get this pulled out, load up, fly to Oshkosh, drop it off. Garmin is kind enough to have some guys that are gonna put it in a hangar, and when everything's ready, they're gonna pull it over, put it in the booth for me, and my wife and the kids will show up later when we're ready with a little road trip vacation. So we pulled it off. I'm so excited to see all, all of you at Oshkosh in a few weeks. I love you all. Hope to see you there. Come up and say hi. Love to shake your hand, talk to you about the aircraft, the projects you're doing, anything to do with flying. You're my aviation family, and I love you guys. I appreciate it every time you come up and say hi, shake my hand. Um, I'm really looking forward to everyone there at Oshkosh. I hope to see you soon. Love you. Take care. Fly safe. Be safe. Have a great time. If you can't be at Oshkosh this year, follow these stupid, silly videos of mine. I have more aircraft coming several in design, another already in the works, and some more on the way, so we're never gonna stop. Let's get back to work.